How's it going everyone? Ramtide here. And today I want to talk a little bit about the Martini Henry nerf from this last patch. First off, the nerf consisted of changing the damage multipliers for the Martini. The multipliers impact six designated areas of the body. These areas are the head, the upper body, the lower body, the upper arms, the lower arms, and the legs. For the Martini, they changed the multipliers to 0.9 for the lower body and upper arms, and for the legs and lower arm shots, they changed it to 0.75. This means that if you hit someone in one of these areas, then the rifle will be doing either 90% or 75% of the max damage that it's capable of outputting at that particular range. Now these changes put it on par with the damage multipliers for the other sniper rifles that have the sweet spot. This means that you will no longer be able to one-hit people at the sweet spot near as easily as you were before the patch. Now you'll either have to get a headshot or get an upper body shot. These changes have upset a lot of people, and rightfully so. However, I wouldn't say that the Martini is completely useless now, although it does take a lot more precision to be effective than it previously did. This is because in its sweet spot range, you can still get a one hit kill if you hit them in the upper body. Now this doesn't mean that I think the changes were great because they weren't. This rifle is far different from the other ones that have the sweet spot mechanic and it should be treated as such. I think it should be more on par with how the Gewehr M95 is in terms of its damage multipliers. For the Gewehr 95, they have a .93 multiplier to the legs, arms, and lower body. One additional change that I would make would be to change the lower body multiplier to 1. This would make the Martini a one-hit kill to the lower body, the upper body, and the head, as long as the enemy is within the sweet spot range. So essentially, it would be similar to before the patch, however, you wouldn't be getting kill shots on people if you hit them in the legs or the arms. I think this would make it a lot more balanced, but it would still make it stand out from the other rifles and give it a distinct advantage to help offset the low rate of fire and the low bullet velocity. They could even leave the multipliers where they're at now, but change the lower body multiplier to one. This would still end up having a similar end result. It just wouldn't do anywhere near as much damage to the arms or to the legs. So, like I mentioned previously, I still think this rifle can be effective. However, the changes that they have implemented push you into more of a supporting role where you have to rely on and work with your teammates a whole lot more in order to take down multiple enemies. I think that DICE will change this rifle again, probably with the next update, in order to balance it out and make it more effective. Over the last two patches, we've seen them nerf the mortar and then give it a slight buff and we've also seen them buff the LMGs in multiple ways. So I think this is an indication that they will continuously look at the weapons and the changes that they are making in order to make sure that the weapons are effective and as balanced as possible. If they were to implement the CTE, they could test these changes beforehand, but either way, they need feedback from us as a community. This means interacting with DICE, giving them our feedback, not just telling them that a weapon is crappy or you don't like the change, but really giving some thought into it and telling them exactly what you don't like and what you think could make it better. Anyway, that's what I have for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, have a good day. Ram tied out.